What's going on, everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I built this team with Bloom Doom Heatran. The whole concept behind it is trying to open up paths for late game Choice Specs Keldeo. Heatran is able to go ahead and lure bulky water types that really give Keldeo a hard time, such as Rotom Wash and Tapu Fini. We can even run Taunt plus Magma Storm on it because we have Roll Compression and Mega Tyranitar, which is the Stealth Rocker for the team and also doubles as a Wall Breaker right here. We even have Pursuit Support, which is able to go ahead and trap the Mega Lotties, which Keldeo really appreciates. So this whole offensive combination right here is really the star of the team. I love Scarf Lander's T with the Heatran too because we can go ahead and U-turn out on Pokemon like Rotom Wash and then bring in Heatran. Even if that makes the Z-move super obvious, if you can get that positioning, you usually have the upper hand. Defensive Rotom Wash is the Defogger and does form a Volturn core with the Lando T. And then finally, we have Assault Vest Magirna just to sponge Fairy and Psychic type hits because the Heatran is very offensive, pretty much no bulk on it. So I wanted a secondary switch in and yeah, that'll be the team. You can find it down below in the description if you do wish to try it out yourself. And let's get right into the games. Okay, we have a game right here. My opponent does have a Tapu Fini, so that is a Grassy MZ target. However, they may use Garchomp as their initial switch into my Heatran, so that's something I do have to keep in mind. I don't really see a downside to leading off with my Scarf Lando right here, as my opponent does decide to lead right with their Charizard, which is interesting. I think I just go for the Scarf Stone Edge right away. I don't really see any downside, because if I do hit, this is dead, and I do nice. Okay. Our crit obviously doesn't matter, so that's really great. Let's see what they bring in next. Really careless play, because what if I was Sash too, right? Either way. I think I can go to Heatran here and just try to get up a... Maybe just click Magma Storm under the sun. Sounds like a good idea. As they just give me Ferrothorn, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. And they're gonna go ahead and run. Let's get another one. Okay, I found another game right here. You already know when the first game goes that well, we're in here for a good time. But my Heatran is about to have a lot of fun again. I can potentially Z into the Pert. That would definitely be very fun. I'm very weak to the electric terrain core, but I can like just trap the Raichu with my Tyranitar. Could be all that pummeling though, so just something I gotta keep in mind as well. I'll go with Marotom as the only type of Coco, which is pretty bad for me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna go Lando because it's one of my better checks to Dragonite, so I think I'll go to AV Mag here. Oh, it's dual screens rain, okay, that's really interesting. Um, I don't really see a great Flur Cannon switch in, however, I don't know if I wanna click that immediately. I think I'll Volt switch out and try to get in Tyranitar here. Get up the sand. They may taunt again, I think, but I really do value trying to get up a rocks right here. Let's see if I can make it happen. As yeah, they did go for the reflect that time, so that's really great. What I can do now is just stone edge into them. Sucks to take this damage because I might have been able to take the focus blast from Raichu earlier. This is going to get blown away. Hello? Why did this come in? Yeah, even without the, the rain, that still takes too much. I can literally just stand and pop that off again. I don't want to click any of these other attacks because I don't know if they kill behind reflect. Thankfully, Mega Tyranitar is the best Pokemon ever and just hits both of them casually. So now I've won the Weather War, which is like pretty terrible for them. I can literally just go to Rotom here. If they're sub, like I'm pretty sure my Hydra will break a sub even through the screen because the rain is up. They just go for Ice Punch, which is whatever. I can just Wisp here. As Tapu Koko comes back in. How do I not lose to Halucha? I guess like my Landers can just take anything and then explode on it. Uh, I can't really stay in here, but I guess I'll Volt. Because if they go for Taunt, what I want to do is get in T-Tar again. And I know that I just want to click the Stone Edge. They're going to U-turn to Pert. I know it's coming out, but I really don't have to call that at all. Is what I'm trying to stress right here. I also want to know whether it's Jolly Pert. They get out of the game, which I don't blame them for. I don't think they had a good win con right there, so let's get another one. Okay, I got another game right here. I clicked on the Lobby, and just to check my ladder ranking, and this Furret looks pissed off, man. <laughs> just something I wanted to point out, but... Yeah, four minutes in, two beatdowns, it doesn't get much better than that. My Keldeo is just gonna kill everybody right here. Unfortunately, Sableye is just really annoying. I'll go with Magirna against Sableye, just because they don't really switch into Flare Cannon that well. I guess I can go for Flare Cannon here, then I'll Volt the next turn. I think they have Protect, so that's all cool. They actually didn't even Mega Evolve, so like I can just Volt out into Tyranitar now and get up a Rocks if I want. What's their Defogger? I guess it would be Zap, right? Ah, uh, this could be Thunder Wave. That would be annoying. I don't think I want Heatran getting- I'm just gonna go to Tar. As they just S-Toss, which is like, whatever. I can just get up my rocks here as Sableye comes in. I mean, this is in Defog. They could just Wisp if they want, but like, I'm not too concerned about that. Let me just get in my Magirna. As they Mega Evolve just to recover. Volt out here. Ah, uh, should've just Flare Cannon, man. I was ahead, too. That was a bad play. Well, I guess I could go to Heatran, because I'm Z. Yeah, as they will us. Oh, dude. I feel bad. I'll just Magma Storm here as they go to T-Tar. Oh, he doesn't know. 
This better kill. This is outside of sand. Goodbye, Tyranitar. Alright, so, I mean, I could have saved it for Pikamuku. That might have been smarter, but... I still beat Pikamuku using, like, Specs Keld and whatnot. I just Magma Storm taunt this down. Unfortunately, that's not what it appears to be happening. It can still happen, though, if, you know, the Heatran wants to do its thing. There we go. Now I can just Earth Power a few times and, uh... Get rid of Chansey right here. So, Heatran did a ton of work, but... Actually, yeah, Heatran just made it so that Caldeo is just gonna win. <laughs> that's pretty much what's happened right here. Volcarona can try to win right now, but I don't think it's possible with my T-Tar around. Should I taunt first? Now I'll go to T-Tar. As they just bug buzz or all. Okay. Um, do I die? I, I might live the next one. It would be funny if they get a lower roll. They just go for the Bugsy, I guess. Yeah, they're not risking it. But, like, I just go Keldeo here and kill everybody. Can Secret Sword do 30? I'm not risking that. Let's just Surf. I wanted to, I wanted to Secret Sword, but it, was, it really was not worth it in that scenario. Go to Magirna here and just Volt out. Actually, I'll Flurkin and then Volt, because I want to force the recover. Yeah, that sounds better. Oh, they go to Sableye, hello? <laughs> Why? Zapdos comes in. I guess it's going to defog for that thing, yeah, but... I don't think they can win anymore, like... I go to Lando here and just, like, explode. As Pikamuku takes nothing, why? Why is Pikamuku broken? Okay, I can Volt here, though. It should kill. So they go to Zapdos again. But now it's over, because I just go to this and I click Surf. It'll kill Zap, and they can't go to Pikamuku on this anymore. Because it's too low due to the explosion damage. Yeah, this is over. Goodbye, and then I just click Surf two more times for a game. Uh, this dies from 51. There's no way that Zapdos lives. Specs Caldo is broken. That did not matter. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Volcarona will not be able to take it. So we take down the stall team. Let's get another one. Okay, I found another game. I'm now back in the 1700s. I feel like I haven't been in the 1700s for like two or three videos now. So feel too good, but I definitely want to keep up the momentum. We've like destroyed three people. This guy gets blown away by Specs Keld as well. Hello? Surf kills everybody. Why? Why, why are people running these mono 6 0 by Keld teams? If I had a Grand, this was so over too. Like, Gyarados is their one okay thing. We'll go, we'll go with the Lando here because the worst lead for me would be like Tapu Lele, and I have good pivots using like AV Mag and Heatran. Probably AV Mag. So they do make the good lead right there. My Intimidate went off before Psychic so Surge, so I can get a U turn out here. Go to Magirna. As they go for what I think is a Spec Sash. Actually, I don't even know. I feel like Specs might have done a little bit more, but. Floor Cannon is free. I don't want them going to Lando. Damage on Victini is good for a few things anyway. As uh, I miss, unfortunately. Really annoying. Uh, yeah, can't really... I'm going to Floor again, too. I don't want Lando coming in. But yeah, I would've... I'm pretty sure Floor Cannon, even without my investment, kills Tapu Lele from 64. So, really frustrating miss. Mostly because I feel like Tapu Lele is going to be a threat later. Because I didn't kill it right there. Yeah, I could see that being the possibility. I don't want to have my Lando take any hits because it's my Lucha checked. They do go to Victini, which is... I get, I get a crit, so it's a little bit of justice, but... Tapu Lele being still around is really bad. I'll go to T-Tar here as they go for Z. Okay, so this is Victory Star with uh, the Focus Blast, right? But nobody hits that move. It's not a thing that happens, right? Yeah, okay, get out of here. <laughs> Isn't that 77% accurate? I just realized it's definitely higher than, I think, than what I'm thinking. I feel like Tyranitar eats that. Tyranitar is broken. I'm going to Calcut right now. 168 it's investment HP Tyranitar. I feel like it just shoes that up. Tyranitar, O use rocks. They already have the default spread in here. Against like Victini, Z celebrate. Oh, actually, it, it might have killed me. Oh, dead. Whoops. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> uh, Lando comes in. Can go to Rotom here on the rocks and just like defog these away. I gotta be careful with the Rotom because it's one of my better Gyarados checks, but. Speaking of being careful with the Rotom, that's not what I just did. <laughs> Thankfully, I lived, though, but I, I might lose to Gyarados. Nah, I have Scarf Lando with Explosion. The problem is I need that for Halucha. Like, that's the thing. Tapu Lele comes out. I'll go to... Check off Magirna here. Has they Moon Blast? Okay, this is actually not... I can actually just save a Volt out here. Okay, it's not locked in. I was gonna say, if that's actually locked into that, this is a wrap. I can go to Keld here. Oh, is this a Salt Vest? I didn't even think about that. Crap, man, this might be a Salt Vest. I guess we're gonna find out. I didn't even think about a Salt Vest at all when I sent this out. But I, I'm not gonna switch out on it again. I guess in hindsight, it's not even that bad because... No, no, I should switch out. I should switch out because on the off chance that it's Mega Gyarados, I can live in Earthquake with Keldeo. 
So yeah, this was careless. I should have just gone to Heatran right then and there, but I didn't. Oh, they go to Gyarados here, okay. So I feel like I have to Z Solar Beam. Hey, Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance, he won't. Because then I explode and then, could I at least attack Bukoko? So I actually might. No, because Tyranitar will just eat it up. I don't think, oh, they actually don't Mega Evolve. How much does this do? 70, okay. Not bad damage. I have to hit a Magma Storm. I either have to hit a Magma Storm or I have to hit a Stone Edge. One of the two has to happen. Okay, they, they Mega Evolve, which is good. Because now I can just go to Lando here. And this just gives me the safest U-turn I could ever ask for, right? I'm actually worried because uh, could Halucha take my hit with this Rocks damage? I mean, could Halucha knock me out because I'm offensive Lando. Halucha might do it for them. No, no, I see, what I, I see what needs to happen. I need to be in with a Pokemon that doesn't allow Halucha to set up. So I get rid of that right there. I think that Pokemon is my Mega Tyranitar. Or I go Rotom here. I'm thinking about the scenario. I'm trying to figure out how I don't let Halucha get an SD up, but I don't see a way that I don't. If I go to Tyranitar right here, I can force the kill to Tapu Lele. They then go to Tapu Koko, which if that kills me, then... Where do we go from there? I feel like Tyranitar is the play. If I can't go to Keld... Actually, what is Keld useful for at this point? It'll actually force out the Tapu Koko, which is what I want, right? Rotom's not going to help me at all. I'm going to go to Tyranitar here and take, uh, take the little bit of chip from Tapu Lele just to knock it out with Stone Edge. This shouldn't be alive, though, so like if I lose this game, then... It's whatever. Why did you send this out? Hello? Should I? I feel like I should just not risk them high jump kicking into this. Yeah, get out of here. These don't run enough speed for Keld, so I'm just going to go to Keld here and surf. Yeah, Keld always outspeeds the, the Lucha before the terrain or whatever. Unless this guy's actually Jolly Halucha, which I doubt. So Tepu Lele comes out. It was never a Salt Vest, so I could have stayed in a, that other turn. Really unfortunate. Tapu Koko comes in. Mm, I'm thinking about this right now. If I stay... I mean, I have to stay in right here, right? This thing's useless. As they do go for Dazzling Gleam. I, th I think I actually win this, because... I go to Titar here. I think what I have to do is Stone Edge, and then I don't know if Halucha can actually set up on this or not. If they U-turn here, why, don't, why would you do this? I had the Stone Edge, that's a choke. I did hit Stone Edge. But I have to switch out, right? I have to. Because I will lose to... Okay, let's think about it. If I stay in and they knock me out... There's not an attack I can lock, so I have to switch out, yeah. As they did high jump kick, beautiful. Now what I do is I force the kill with Explosion. And then ideally Tyranitar can beat Tapu Koko, is that what the hope is? Or is there something else I can do right here? If I Stone Edge and live the attack, then... In theory, I could beat Tapu Koko with my own Scarf Lando, but I don't know if their choice Scarf Tapu Koko, which is where the issue arises. So, it really comes down to whether Max Attack, Adam, and Tyranitar can knock out Tapu Koko in one hit with Stone Edge, which I'll go ahead and calc. It doesn't, okay. Well, actually, that's, that's with defense. Get this out of here. It looks like I can, and in fact, the roll is in my favor. So, if I do win this game, it'll be off of luck, but I have to explode. It's not an option. Stone Edge doesn't help me, I don't think. Yeah, because it's not going to kill Lucha, I die to two acrobatics, and that's game. I have to explode. And then it just comes down to this roll with Stone Edge. 94 does 87 to 102. And actually, with Sand Chip, as long as I hit the Stone Edge, I win no matter what. I just realized that. Come on, Terran I mean, I don't deserve this win, so if you miss, then it's whatever, but... Let's find out right here. This shouldn't have been my game. If it's Fairy MZ this entire time, then I'm pretty sure they have it no matter what. Actually, Tyranitar probably eats Fairy MZ. Tyranitar is stupid. Like, look at that sped up stat. 414. They go for Dazzle. The game dead end. So Stone Edge just straight up kicked up the kill. So had they hit that Focus Blast earlier with Victini, this game was not mine. But, I mean, hey, it worked out for us and I'll get another one. Okay, I found another game right here. If at any point during the remainder of this video, I get hacked out, I really can't complain after that last game. My opponent just gets... I mean, the Ditto is actually a big threat if it copies my Keldeo. I want to keep that in mind. They also just have their own Keldeo, so... You know, that's kind of pretty terrible. Let's lead off with my Tran. Against Shuckle. Okay. I could double taunt, or I could just Magma Storm. 
I guess Mirror's okay. Like, I could take a bit of Infestation Chip. Wouldn't really be the worst thing ever. The one thing I didn't like about this lead is because it, like, invites in Keldeo after I knock out the Shuckle, but... I just want to make sure Shuckle's gone permanently. That's the big idea here. So there's the webs. It's going to be Mental Herb, right? So I mean, I might as well taunt it. Yes, the Mental Herb is there. Now what I can do is taunt again. As they just final Gambit out of there. Okay, so they got a lot of mileage out of that Shuckle. Who's my Defogger? Uh, Rotom? Yeah. I can't go Rotom. This is going to be Specs. Specs into what attack, though? I feel like I just stay in and find out. Maybe they just go for sub for no reason. The specs into Secret Sword. Can't kill my Rotom, so I, ha I have to defog. It's really, uh, no. No. That's bad. That This is really terrible. <laughs> Alright, I gotta somehow pull this back. Oh, let's go to Magirna on the knockoff. Okay, there goes my vest. This is going downhill uh, pretty quickly. I'll Fleur Cannon here as they Volt Switch out. This guy's got, like, all the techs for my team. Ditto comes out. He's gonna vault. I already know that, so I'm just gonna iron head. Fresh teams. I should have vaulted again. I need to get the defog off. That's that's really all I can try to do. Position myself to where I can get a defog off. My scarfer is immune. That's something I can't take advantage of. I can literally just go to Tiny Tower here, but I'll vault out because I know they're doubling out. Yeah, and they're gonna click taunt again, no doubt about it, but I'm gonna attempt to defog. Yeah, like, I, I could predict it, but I really don't see the point. Like, I can just hide or pump here. Uh, who stays in that turn? And who crits me? No, I crit them. <laughs> okay. I get my berry, that's cool. Go to Lando here. I think I win anyway, actually. I don't really think I lost. Because I can just U turn here and pick that off, yeah. Then I just go to, like,. I want to say Magirna. Because, like, if they go Blacephalon, which is, like, one of their better ways to revenge me, I just trap them. So, there is that. Hmm. Scarf Lando is important. My Specs Keld being alive is really nice. Alright, well, this thing's dead. Should I just get a Brox just to do it? <laughs> this thing doesn't get HP fighting, right? I feel like I actually should get up rocks. It might help me out in the long run. A never Ending Nightmare does nothing. Now I can literally just pursue it. <laughs> They're probably like, why didn't I try to switch out? I hope they try to do it now. That would be funny. I did stay Alright, so we get rid of that. I, do I, can I win this game? I'm thinking about it. I could lose to the Gardevoir. That's like the big thing that I, that might be, end up beating me. Okay, so it traces Sandstream, which is interesting. I think Tyranitar is actually what I let go down. Yeah, for sure. No doubt about it. I think I lose though to Thunders. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, imagine if they Focus Blasted and then missed. That would have been like the saddest thing ever for them. Actually, I think I see what I have to do. I think I U-turn and then I Stone Edge everything. Like that's the plan. Actually, that's Scarf Thunder, right? In that case, it's definitely over. I don't think I can win. I gotta, like, Earthquake here, and just, they're, they're gonna switch out, obviously, so I'll go for the U-turn. I actually think them switching out, like, that is choking. They go out to... They go for that, okay. I feel like I have to make the offensive play. Do I have to? No, I don't. I could have tried it, but... At this point, the Gardevoir is in range of my... Earthquake, and the... The Thunderous dies to Rocks plus Sand. The problem is Sand's not gonna be up this turn, is it? Ooh, this might come down to a 50-50. This dies to Earthquake, but I can't allow Thunderous to come back in, then I lose. If I U-turn, then I lose. I'm gonna Earthquake. I don't think they're... Could Ditto give them a guaranteed win? They know I need Landorus. I'm pretty sure that's obvious to them. I'm gonna Earthquake. Okay, nice. I got that right. That's big. That's like step one, basically. Uh, Thunderous comes in here. No, actually, I think, they, I think they win no matter what, because they know I'm Choice Scarf now. So all they have to do is go Thunderous. And I believe... No, no, I see what I have to do. I just I just click Earthquake. They're going to Volt Switch. How many how many power points does Volt Switch have? Oh, it has too many. <laughs> no, it has way too many. So is there anything I can do? I can't switch out. 
Can I? I can't change my land or just typing anyhow, huh? No, I just I just do this until I struggle. That's the play. I struggle, then they come in with their Lando, and then. Okay, they finally clicked HB Ice. They were never locked in, huh? Well, that's game. I should have I should have just switched out that turn, and I would have won. For some reason, I thought they were locked in. Actually, I should Secret Sword. On the off chance, they're just like... No, they guaranteed win. They Volt switch out into Ditto. Actually, wait a minute. No, if they're not Thunderbolt, then they lose. They have Grass Knot, yeah, so that's game. Unfortunately, because they come in here and I definitely die to their Secret Sword. So that's going to be that. So had I switched out into the... The Landorus on the Thunderous, I would have won. I don't remember if I saw them switch up moves ever. I feel like I did, didn't I? I definitely did see them switch up moves, but my mindset was if I get all of my earthquakes off until I struggle and then knock them out, they come back and copy my Lando and then my Keldeo beats their Landorus. So that's what I was thinking because they would have had to lock into like the Stone Edge to knock out my Lando in return. So I should have tried to go Keldeo on the correct turn, but unfortunately I just got that wrong. It is what it is though. Let's get another game. Okay, I found another game right here. We got the Sticky Webs team. It turns out in the last game I would have actually had to get two turns right, and those two turns were the turn that I had to switch out into Keldeo on the HPS, and then I actually had to get Lando back in on the electric type move slash grass knot. Then I could have won, but unfortunately I just got the first play wrong. So there's the webs. Uh, this will die to fire punch plus sand. Excadrill comes in, okay. I can just go to Rotom. Actually, this is Mold Breakers, so let's be careful. Hmm. I think I keep Tyranitar for Charizard. And perhaps just go to... Lando here. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's hit him up with the... The U-turn. Because they're at minus one, I'm comfortable going to Keldeo on this. I really don't mind. I'm just a little bit worried about Kamo'o. That's the main thing. But I think Magirna can take that on. So I'll go to Keldeo here on the rocks. And then I can just Surf. Okay, so we knock that out. I have Tran for Surf. I'm assuming that Magirna can take on the Kamo'o. I, I doubt it dies to anything. Surf comes in. I go to Tran here every time. On the Seeds. Just Magma Storm. Okay, they are that set. You know else? You know, we all know what set I'm talking about. So let's go to Lando. And just U-turn. To... I can't let Magirna take damage. That's the problem. So I gotta, like, go Rotom. No, that's not gonna help me. Why is this thing broken? I, I know what I gotta do. They unfortunately missed the Lead Sheet, which sets them back a turn. So I'll Taunt here. They may lead sheet now, but I just don't want them... Okay, that's not going to help them. So yeah, the lead sheet miss definitely sucked right there for them. Set them back the turn that they needed. There's the leaf storm. I miss in return though, so they they don't get the turn back. Like the lead sheet recovery was more valuable than that leaf storm. Good. Sorry for leech. Alright. We do hit there. That's nice. Alright, I'll bloom doom here. And then I go to Lando and I just explode every time. Okay, so down goes that guy. I'm thinking about how I beat Mimikyu and I think I, I don't. That's the answer that I've come up with. I think I can go to Rotom here. On the Mimikyu. Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, Wisp is fine right here. As they SD up. I think I defog now, just to get my Keldeo faster than this. And then I can I can live the hit with this and then get the slow volt out of here. And then yeah, I think Tyranitar plus Magirna just deals with those last two are just fine. So I go I go down to this here. I literally just click Hydro and really hope that it hits. That's the plan. Okay, there we go. And I don't think either of these two can win for them. Kamo'o comes in. This is literally why I kept my Magirna. As they DD, but I live a close combat with uh, this investment. There's that. Charizard comes in. I can just vault out here into 
Iron Minotaur, this lives the, the Earthquake. All I have to do is hit a Stone Edge. And yeah, that's going to be a uh, GG. So I'll get another game. Okay, I found another game right here. This guy's got like Rocks, Drill, Zone, Triple Setup, and then Scarf Cart is what I'm assuming that is. So just a ton of win conditions, which I'm going to try to hopefully play around. That would be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and lead Keld against the Drill, because I'm not surprised they would want to lead off with this. I'll just Surf here. Like, my Terranitar is just going to eat anything up from the Ment, so that's kind of cool. And Breaking Dragonite's multi-scale with Sand is really nice as well, so... There's that. They really can't even switch out here, so they're just going to stay in. They go to Cart. Why is this a big threat? Um, I'm just going to stay in. They're not going to Leaf Blade. I got out of here. <laughs> Alright, cool. D-Knight comes in. I go to T-Tar. As they double to Zone. I feel like I just got up my rocks. As they Flash Cannon. I feel like Fire Punch is going to Oko this. Wow, this thing is weak. Well, I'll knock them out right there. Now they're just left with the, the setup core, which ideally doesn't win them the game. I think there's no way I don't with a Lando Stone Edge, except for, you know, missing. But they're not going to go for those odds, so we just blow that guy away. <laughs> Let's get another game. Okay, I found another game right here. I swear people only know how to use Hyper Offense during this tournament. It's ridiculous, but let's lead Keldeo and just try to win. I'm going to lead Keldeo to win the game. This is a winning play. I'm going to Surf and then have Rotom for Gyarados. I just Surf again pretty freely. I don't think they want to take the hit with anything else. Like, damage on Keldeo is really good. Sorry, Gyarados is really good for me. Who do they go to? Like, they can't really switch out, yeah. So they're going to stack the drill. To go to who now? Gyarados? I mean, I'll go to Rotom. And then, like, Volt out into Lando and Stone Edge this. Or even Explode. Either way is cool. I mean, I like Lando in this game because after this thing is gone, it clicks VQ. They go to Espeon. Can't take damage on this. I go to Magirna. As they give me a Choice Specs Magirna. Okay. I'm not really complaining about that. I'm not going to lie. Let's just Volt out here. So they Psychic. Still does nothing. Do I take damage on Titar? I feel like it's just going to get blown away by Volcarona. Any, even if they Quiver Dance. Could Lando U-Turn kill this? I think it does. Land like, the Espeon's terrible. It's better kill. Yeah, okay. I was going to say Espeon's bad. <laughs> and now it can go to... I don't have Rotom take more rocks just yet. I can just go to Keldeo here. Make sure Gyarados comes back in so I can get in Rotom and get that Volt switch off. That's the whole idea here. There's the Gyarados. So go to Rotom just like I did last time. There it is. He's going forward. If he substitute, that's a, that's literally what I don't care about. The substitute set. Don't flinch. And goodbye. Yeah, this is over. I, I just go to Keld again. <laughs> Keld is going to kill everybody. They go to Tapu Lele. Go to Magirna here. Like, I'm pretty confident my Terranitar will eat the hit from Volcarona. And they have to be like Bugsy HP ground. That's what they have to try to do right here. So they go to Bisharp. I'll just Volt out, I think. To Keld. Okay, this guy's just going for the hacks now. Yeah, this is over. I just Surf. As Tapu Lele comes in. Uh, no point in risking this again. Let's go to Heatran. As they double to Volcarona. I mean, my Tarantard is here for this, so let's go out into that. Tarantard, there's no way Mega Tarantard dies to Volcarona anything. I, I refuse to believe it. Plus one Beginium Z, maybe. I, I want to say that's a roll still. Unless I'm just overestimating Mega Tarantard and just underestimating M M Volcarona. Oh, that's not killing. They crit me. <laughs> Dude, why? Uh, well, seeing that makes me think that Keldeo can come in here. And surf for the kill. If this is Giga Drain or Psychic, and they just crit through that to win, that's going to be big sad. Okay, bug buzz and I knock them out. Good. <laughs> Phew. That was, that was yikes. That could have been really bad really fast. Um, if they're not anything good on the Tapu Lele now, aka Choice Scarf, then I won. They go to Bisharp. They just have to hope I choke and let them SD, but I'm not going to let them do that, obviously. Just go to Heatran. I mean, you're not still going to eat up the hit from Tapu Lele. That's the funny thing. <laughs> I just Earth Power here.
Out comes this thing. Let's try to end it off with the Z Solar Beam. I feel like Heatran's about to eat this up. Heatran did not eat it up. Well, is this Choice Scarf? Show me. Okay, it was, but Lando is, you know, Fizz F is better than Spit F. I feel like Magirna eats that from 32 or whatever. Maybe not, because my Assault Vest was gone. And maybe I lost. But what I think I could have done was maybe try to get Rotom its berry. So I go Rotom, switch out into Magirna, go back to Rotom, get the berry it lives, and then I just have to hit a Hydro Pump from there. But those are sketchy odds. I would have calculated the Magirna, obviously, first, but that is going to be that game. I'm just going to calc that Volcarona against Tarantar real quick, because I'm actually curious. Like, there's no way that kills, right? Oh, yeah, no way. I was at, what? I was at 88, right? Yeah, okay, it does 67 to 79, so that was always going to live, and thankfully we were able to go ahead and come out on top anyway. Let's get another one. Okay, I found another game right here. I just played one, and the guy forfeited turn 3 when I got a defog off after, I, you know, he got the webs and rocks up with a shuckle. It was very funny, but unfortunately my doorbell went off turn 2, so I decided to just grab that one since the game was so short anyway, but that happened, just so you guys know. Heatran just kind of does nothing right here. It doesn't really get a kill with the Z-move. I can lead with T-Tar against... Lando, that's kind of bad. I'll go to Rotom here. Although Rotom's kind of good against Pinsir, so I gotta be careful. They're gonna go for Rocky MZ for sure. So I'll go to Keldeo. Oh, as they got a Barox again. Is this Sash or not? Oh, it is Sash. That's so terrible. Alright, well. I'll go to Lando of my own and U-turn. Okay, this could be worse. This could for sure be worse. T-Tar looks good. Just sucks to lose Keld. How do they not deal with my Magirna? Huh. Let's go to Heatran here. I want to invite in this Gran so I can get in Magirna and get Volt Switch Momentum. Kieran Black comes in. Go to Lando on the Earth Power, then you turn into Magirna on the Ice Beam. We make only the finest maneuver maneuvers here. Let's see what happens. That's a play. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna question him. Are you? Are you blurring me right here? Is this like? Okay, it is Protean, but it's low kick. I was gonna say Z dig. Wow, oh, it's life orb. I'm trying to get my momentum here, man. That's so rude. I keep Heatran for the Leaf Blade win. Like they can't win with Smart Strike because I have Rotom and Lando. Well, really Rotom and Heatran too. I go to Pincer. I just I have no reason not to stay. Switch out, right? Do I have a reason not to go Rotom? I do have a reason. I want the damage right here. As they double to what this is this guy doing? I'm so confused. I feel like I keep my Lando. And I just go to. Nah, you know what? Let's go to Lando. <laughs> Lando hasn't died anything at minus one. This is a free earthquake. Goodbye. Pincer comes in. Hey, I have a, I have a whole Rotom right here. Let's we'll switch out. Get that nice berry going. Go to... Who's bad? I feel like Magirna is kind of useless, but it could take a hit from their Magirna. I could just use my Heatran and bank on Magma Storm, though. That's a possibility. Because, like, my... I actually gotta go Lando here because of the Intimidate to make sure that my Rotom lives. I didn't just attempt to explode. That didn't even kill. Wow. That thing is terrible. I can go to Tyranitar here because it takes the Z-move, I think. There's no way... Actually, this might die to Z-move. Hmm... Stone Edge. They have Iron Head and... Okay, well, Flinch and Miss Odds are a thing, and I've hacked somebody before. I've been over all of this. So now I think I lose. I think they just sweep with this. Because Earth Power, Earth Power, and then, like, Earth Power or Fusion Bolt, whatever. See, so yeah, I think they won because of that. They have, they've already shown Earth Power, so... All I could hope is that they don't have Fusion Bolt somehow. Just don't have it, or just don't kill for some random reason. Bro, okay, I mean, I, I did hack somebody. Just, just remember it. But that's just big sad right there. Uh, nothing I can do, right? Because of Terrible, I can't even double right here. Yeah, that's just a game. And that sucks, because I really feel like I had this guy, and then the Kiram block just came in late game and said, you know what, whatever. But uh, that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and get one final one. Okay, I found another game right here. I'm currently 8-2. and two. This is game number 11. Game number 10 for the video because I could not use that game with the, the three-turn sticky webs beat down. Let's go ahead and... Wow, Kaldeo looks okay, but they have, like, Lottie. If I could trap that, that would be cool, but I don't even know how much Pursuit's doing. Let's go with Lando. Get into the Victini. I'll just Earthquake. Okay, so they're willing to trade that. Okay. Is that good for me? Actually, it's fine. 
Should I lose speed control? But like, they had two ground immunities anyway. Hmm. Clefable. It could be T Wave, which would be like really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I think I go to Heatran. This thing gets. F oh, that's actually really cool. I didn't even realize that they could copycat into Final Gambit. So if I went to do a Pokemon that was faster, right? Wouldn't I have surfed and then they can't copy it? Pretty sure that's what would have happened, but this game's been weird. Double final gambit leads. That's something I gotta use. That sounds heat. Let's go to Keldeo here on Lando. Okay, cool. There's actually just an icy wind, which is kind of nice because they, it catches Lottie. They go to Kuhn, which is a little bit worse for me. I'll go to Rotom. Could be like subtoxic protect scald. As they actually double to Lando, so I can just hydro pump. Okay, thankfully I live that somehow. That that's hardly no, it was normal gem. Just make a choice band, man. If you're gonna have all these suicide leads, just make it banded. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the point in that. I'm gonna volt into my Magirna. No, that's not sweeping. Even if this is Combine Pain Split, it doesn't 1v1 my Magirna, I don't think. I'm pretty confident Combine Pain Split just doesn't do anything to me. Yeah, this is definitely Pain Split. Oh, maybe it's not. Okay, is it actually not Pain Split? I'm really perplexed. Why? I could have sworn it would be Pain Split on this, but I guess not. Okay. Google Voltavix there. Unfortunately, this thing is broken, so it's just going to 1v1 me as a whole. Okay, there's that. What's my best play? I think it's to go to Keld and, like, Secret Sword here. Yeah, okay, I figured this might happen, but I'll go to Titar now. If they let me trap this, then I just win with the Keld. So yeah, they can't. They know they can't let that happen. I'll go to Rotom Wash here on the sub. Just volt into Keldeo. This is annoying. I don't like this Pokemon. That's not going to help them, though. Yeah, that was a misplay. Because now I get to Secret Sword, and Spec Secret Sword is going to do a lot. And if they go Lottie, they're in a position where they have to reduce. Look at that damage. Like, sure, they can protect here, but they're not going to pressure stall me out of 11 more of these. Down to 9. They need double protects. So that's what they can hope for. Is it rest? No, they go for Scald. 7 more, okay. I have no reason not to click it. Like, protect, and now what? Like, as long as I don't get completely messed up right here, this is it. So they psych off Magirna to bring back Suicune, right? To protect. No, they go to Latias. Okay. Well, actually, do I have any reason not to just Secret Sword again? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> so now I just hard switch out in case they try to Calm Mind. There's the Calm Mind. Uh, I'm just going to see how much Pursuit does. Oh, it does way too much. Yeah, that's it. I could just Stone Edge to guarantee. Oh, 40? Never mind, it's not doing anything. Hit Stone Edge, T-Tar, just do it. Just hit Stone Edge. 49, okay. Well, this is annoying. Does this have its berry still? I was going to try to get the, the berry octave. How many more of those do you have? Oh, they, they don't have enough, yeah. There's no way they can uh, stall out my pursuits in time. Yeah, I just spam Pursuit, and eventually they'll get to the point where they can't recover it off. So when do you attack is the question. This is the turn you attack. With what though? <laughs> stored If your combine recovers stored power. Don't para? Okay, good. Yeah, that, that's it. They can't stall out this out anymore. There's no way. I, it's, going for a stone edge would be a choke. Five more. Five more is not enough, I don't think. How much did Thunderbolt actually do? 32. Yeah, they can't two it KO me. They need hacks. That's what they need. Three more. 58. There's that. They have to burn two recoveries, but it's not going to be enough. They didn't hacks me, thankfully, and that's going to be the game. That is going to be a 9 and 2 live, so lots of success right there. I believe we did. We should have reached the 1800s, I think. I'll go ahead and double check off screen, but yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. I would very much recommend trying this team. It's a lot of fun, definitely. I mean, I got to use the Bloom Doom a lot, but really Mega Terranitar just was a very fun Pokemon to try out again. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.